Now, here's an interesting collecting area for you. If you like vintage 20th century jewellery, pins, brooches, like these here, then I think you're going to be interested in Leah Stein. Leah Stein is a very interesting person, really is a person, not just a make or company. Leah Stein is a terribly private person, so we don't know a huge amount about her, but take a look at her design. So here we are, plastic. Now, you would be forgiven for thinking that these were all made during the Art Deco period. You know, that time, 1920s, 1930s, pre-Second um, World War, so pre-1939, but you'd be wrong. You'd be very wrong, because Leah Stein, a French woman, began designing and producing these plastic little novelty pins in the Art Deco style, or rather influenced by, in the 1960s. And she's been pretty popular, in actual fact, ever since. But these pieces date to her vintage era. So I think they're probably late 1960s to about 1980. But I'm going to give you a couple of top tips to look out for if you fancy a Lear Stein brooch. Because like anything in this business that has become popular, it has been faked and copied. These are all original. So let me give you a couple of top tips. So Lear Stein, they're, they're plastic and they're very light. So this might sound like a knob tip, but it's actually a good one. So if you're out and about and you see a bunch of what you think of described as Leah Steins, then weigh them all. And if you're gonna choose one, go for the lightest because the Leah Steins, the originals are lighter than the copies. Also the backs of these things are vital. Almost always, but not always, just as a rule of thumb, the clasp on the back of a Leah Stein brooch, take a good look at that, is a V shape and it's signed Leah Stein. So that's the majority, certainly with the newer ones. With the vintage ones, it's the majority, but some, the very early ones, don't. So there are always rule breakers, but a little bit of research online if you're interested, you will get more information. But you won't get much information on Leah Stein because she's terribly private, still living in France. I think she's still involved in the company, in actual fact, the company is still trading. The most popular Leah Steins, I would say, or rather the most valuable, will be these little miniatures. I mean, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Literally little miniatures. Look at that one. Now, you can sort of date that by the style. What, what do you think? Early 1970s, I would say. Proper clasp on the back. And another top tip, and this actually is vital, when looking at the clasp of a Lear Stein, take a look at that again. Yes, you've got the V and you've got the stamp Lear Stein, but look how the clasp is connected to the plastic. It is not riveted. The riveted ones, Lear Steins, particularly the early ones, are fakes. I think some of the newer ones might well be riveted, but if you're looking for vintage, they are never riveted. They are heat molded. So the metal clasp there is literally heated up and then forced into the plastic, melting it left to cool. And then you have the pin attached to the back. Another thing to look out for is the way that they are constructed. So take a look at this little piece here. Can you see there are a number of pieces of plastic laid on top of one another? So literally plonked, heat treated, molded together, but made in separate pieces. The copies generally are one solid mold. So if you see a Leah Stein and you can see that the pieces look like they should have been separately made and put together and they're not, then it's a fake. So there we have it, sent to me by a friend of mine who has spent many years happily, occasionally picking up an original Leah Stein on her travels. Now they're all gonna go into auction as a collection or individually, we'll have to work it out before they go into sale. I'll put the sale information, the auction information actually in the details if you fancy a look. Now, which one is your favorite? I think for me, not the most expensive, but definitely the funniest. It's gotta be the little parrot.